positioning at kickoffs and restarts. The referee should stand on or past the line and control the kickoff with voice and whistle. The referee should stand on the opposite side from where they think the ball is going to be kicked to. They should also monitor for possible infringements while they control the kickoff. The referee should stand on or past the line and control the dropout with voice and whistle. The referee should stand side on to the dropout and monitor for possible infringements whilst they control the kick. The referee should stand on or past the line and control the dropout with voice and whistle. The referee should stand side on to the dropout and monitor for possible infringements whilst they control the kick. The referee should stand on the 30 meter line and control the restart with voice and whistle. Positioning for tries. The referee needs to be in a position so that they have a view of the ball being grounded. The referee needs to follow play, so they have a clear view of the ball being grounded. Positioning at conversions. The referee only has to view whether the kick at goal is successful. The referee stands in line with the ball to judge the kick. If the conversion is unsuccessful, the referee will signal no goal by waving one arm from side to side at waist height. If the conversion is successful, the referee will raise one arm in the air and blow the whistle. Positioning for drop goals. The referee only has to view whether the kick at goal is successful. They stand in line with the ball to judge the kick. If the drop goal is unsuccessful, the referee should take up a position to make a call and allow play to proceed. <laughs> Positioning at penalties. There are three options when taking a penalty. Number one, kick to touch followed by a free kick. The free kick is taken 10 meters in from touch where the ball crossed the line. The referee stands 10 meters back from where the free kick is going to be taken, keeping the defensive line on side. Number two, a free kick on the mark. When the penalty has been awarded, the referee will stand on the mark. The referee will monitor for possible infringements 
whilst the free kick is taken. Number 3. A kick at goal. When the penalty has been awarded, the referee will stand at the mark and a kick at goal will follow. The referee will observe for offside players when the kick is being taken. If the penalty goal is successful, the referee will raise one arm in the air and blow the whistle. If the penalty goal is unsuccessful, the referee must get into a position to make a call so that play can proceed. Positioning at the play the ball. The referee stands 10 metres away from the play the ball and whilst monitoring the play the ball also monitors for offside. The referee should stand at an angle to the play the ball so that they can see all the players involved. The referee should control players at the ruck and defending players on the 10 metre line with voice control. Positioning at scrums. Controlling the formation, feeding and offside at the scrum with voice control is vital. The referee stands on the open side of the scrum, monitoring for any infringements and controlling the scrum. The defensive line must remain 5 metres from the last row of forwards in the scrum, until the ball is out of the scrum. Once the ball is out, the referee may follow the ball from the scrum so that they have a view of the ball at all times. <laughs>